This is Mission Control Houston. We're back with live coverage of the events uh, on orbit. Uh, this, however, happens to be a replay of uh, some uh, high-definition television that was downlinked. Uh, that's in the process of being downlinked from the International Space Station. Uh, today's uh, arrival, the Space Shuttle Endeavour crew to the International Space Station. Uh, these are the views from the space station side as uh, the hatches are opened and uh, the uh, International Space Station's Expedition 27 crew uh, welcomes the STS-134 crew of Endeavour into uh, the larger confines of the International Space Station. Again, uh, this is some video that's being downlinked uh, currently by uh, uh, Katie Coleman, one of the uh, flight engineers on the International Space Station. These views showing Apollo Nespoli. Uh, Andrei Borisenko and Alexander Samokotayev as they uh, prepare and open the hatches. Also, there's Ron Guerin. Yeah, okay, okay. You're good after that, so when you're out. Hey, Paul. Yes. What's the trip? Uh, one second. Again, this is some high definition video that's being uh, downlinked from uh, the International Space Station. It was recorded earlier, uh, immediately after the docking and arrival of Endeavour and its crew to the International Space Station. <laughs> We have some words for you on the uh, prepack list, uh, but I also want to let you know that we have reintegrated the big loop, so uh, right, don't Katie. call on uh, Space Ground so 1 unless you want to wake up the shuttle crew. All right, okay. okay, we've got some uh, words on those items in the prepack list if you're ready to copy. Ready. Okay, I'm uh, 
for that radiogram. Uh, the good news is that there are two of those items that you talked about that are go for pre-pack. One is, the first is item 12, and uh, that corresponds to that uh, uh, 0499 item number two. So you go for that. And then the other item is that item 18. Uh, you go for that. That corresponds to item number seven in the uh, OCA message. You're on the one. Right, very good. Okay, let's see, let's talk about the other ones. Uh, item 11, we believe that's an iMac, um, and we believe it's serial number 4023. However, there's a constraint listed to not pack until uh, 28 to 32 hours before hatch closure, and we're trying to investigate that. We don't want to give you a go before we understand why that constraint is there. Okay, very good. And it's not listed on uh, on our message, is it? Uh, we believe it is not because we think it's a personal item, and uh, I can't explain why things appear or don't appear on the corresponding list. But we we believe it is not on the corresponding list. Okay, the next item is uh, item 14. Is a uh, no go at this time. We believe these are the crew worn dosimeters that uh, you would wear you would wear with you until undocking and then through undocking and landing. So we think these should be on your person all the time. You uh, For you and Katie, the two of you. All right, switch. Uh, are those the radiation area monitor they ran in uh, item number four on our list? No, uh, that's not, it is not. I, we think item number 14 are the crew worn dosimeters, the ones that you have in your pocket or in your, you know, with you all the time and uh, should ride with you, uh, stay with you until undocking and ride with you through the uh, land. And uh, we do not think that those are on the corresponding OCA message. All right, copy. Okay, item number 15 is the local area dosimeters. Uh, Ronnie will be performing a procedure tomorrow um, and uh, swapping out the ones that have been on with new ones, replacing new ones with the ones that have been there. After that's performed, which is uh, GMT 9 plus something around then, uh, you can then go ahead and uh, stow that. That's, that's item number four in the OCA message. Okay, and the uh, last is item number 17 that you asked about. Uh, that is a no-go until there's a procedure performed on... Uh, uh, looks like uh, four days from now on GMT 142, there's a procedure that uh, I believe those are some uh, bodily samples that are taken. And uh, uh, so you'll need to perform that procedure before you go ahead and stow the samples. Okay. Uh, so thank you, Dick Scott. Hey, Copy, I think that's uh, item number six. Is that correct? <laughs> we haven't been able to correlate that. Uh, that hasn't come down. But, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm hearing. I, it, it is item number six. Okay. Okay, and then say Maybe Mark uh, has already made uh, his decision on that, so teams. So we'll ask him if he did not do it, so we'll suggest that. Mark, maybe who else? All right. Um, yeah, another mystery here is that. Uh, some of the numbers don't match. No, I don't have them uh, under my eyes, the radiogram. Uh, but uh, uh, let's say item number five, which is the air dosimeter, so lists here on our, um, on our uh, five and 17 items. I think Eli has, uh, or the radiogram has a uh, number 30 scratched, followed by two. So, this one, I think we have three numbers here, which is 17, 32, a little bit of uh, discrepancy there. Paolo, let me go look at that procedure that Ron's going to perform tomorrow. Maybe that'll specify. I expect that procedure will either say 17 or 30, and I'll get back to you.
Well, it depends on the helmet's on or helmet's off. Yes, again, there's no need to have several options. options. And, uh, uh, we're we're going to list here, we're going to rest a few more things and try to rest. But this information you gave me already very good, and uh, at least I can tell something tomorrow morning to demise. Alright, uh, coming. Okay, great, thanks for the work, Paul. <laughs> Welcome on Bottle Station. Hey, you guys were coordinating shirts. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't do that. That's okay. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? How are you? Good. Nice to see you here. Nice to see you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at Mike. Mike oh, also yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Test your fuzzy head. Yeah. 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 I guess you got you guys know we're installing ELC three today. We do. So we got a still a whole day of work. <laughs> it's all you guys working. Are you guys working? Got vacation now. Is that <laughs> look at you. You're like coming into somebody's house and then like, start to use know. their lawnmower. You know, <laughs> from the museum of uh, wax, wax oh, museum. Yeah, yeah. People. Okay, you're tanned. You guys look like this. Fifteen days were really good for you, huh? Look at Mike. Mike knows the station <laughs> color. <laughs> Matches. <laughs> Take good care of this place for us. <laughs> yeah, that's a gem bin. All right, we don't, we don't let this too long. I don't want to stop it. Since I brought it up here it three years ago. Stand. Okay. No, I'm just. It's our. It's our. Uh, our video. Uh, it's bigger now than it was three years ago. Yeah, it looks the same. It looks like building that. Exactly. Right. <laughs> we Where's the, the sign that said Kibo? And where's where's our pool? sign? It's Down in there. here. It said eat more chicken. Eat more chicken. Did you guys hear the bell? We, yeah, did. Yeah, we did, we did, man. It was that perfect. Good Navy thing. Oh, great. That's a, yeah, been very awesome. good for, for you know how we Air figured Force, out? Army. You know how we figured out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We watched the video of Garrett doing it. It's like, oh. do, it, do it like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett is a Navy guy, you know. <laughs> so we did it really right? No, it's perfect. I mean, the we are for protocol, for a Navy protocol. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Worked, it worked out great. <laughs> so it's good to be back. Looks looks pretty much the same. Oh, well, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You guys, you guys, you know, it yeah, looks go. bigger to me. I don't, I don't recall that. No three PMM. That I camera. haven't seen those. Yeah. The one behind your head. So, so you want to do safety brief? Yes. Now. Yeah, yeah. We got to knock it out. We got to get okay, going on okay. the yes. And the window shutters stay closed. We suggest to my two teams. Uh, well, the most the experience on the better. station and the less yeah. experience on the station will. And Paul and myself will I'll do the tour on the Russian segment, and okay. Paul will do the tour on the U.S. Segment. Okay. So, and they'll switch teams. Great. And we'll stick to safety, pure safety for okay. the first part. No. All right. Then the logistic things yes. will come later, yeah. and, we, like toilets, and we'll, we'll divide uh, it in two, uh, and we'll do more. Whatever. Sounds good. Almost one um, I'm trying to think of our timeline. When mm -hmm. we, I think we got 30 minutes. About that. About that. Yeah. And also. Uh, uh, as soon as uh, you will have a spe uh, special meeting before the EVA, so a safety yeah. meeting before EVA, so yeah. we'll skip this thing. Okay. So because no EVA now, but okay. we'll pay close attention to the EVA safety later. All right. Into the mind. Okay. So, and uh, the two or three minutes here b before we go split the crew, so for, uh, it's general awareness. So <coughs> I, I am sure everybody knows all the safety uh, issues, what to do and when. And uh, for us, is no need to uh, remind you the basics, so you know. But we'll uh, point out the uh, specific uh, locations, some minor things we experienced here, and we what we know now. So, and uh, please give your comments. And uh, if you know something, let's skip this. We'll move on uh, to another. 
I think so, it's okay. And uh, uh, you know how to use G juice, so whatever. The, we'll the, bring a G. Yeah, you here, one of the I think you, you brought two more copies for lab and for SM. So well, that, that I, I'm, I'm tasked. I'm tasked to deploy all of this. Okay, okay. they're in. They're in there. This is Mission Control Houston. Again, we're watching some uh, replay video that is currently being downlinked from the International Space Station. We just saw uh, the STS-134 crew led by Commander Mark Kelly, uh, followed quickly by uh, uh, Greg Shamatov, uh, Drew Foistel, Mike Fink, and Roberto Vittori and Greg Johnson as they uh, joined the International Space Station crew being welcomed by uh, Commander Dmitry Kondratyev and Flight Engineers Paolo Nespoli and Katie Coleman, who will be uh, departing the space station soon on May 23rd and also uh, Andrei Borosenko, Alexander Samokutayev, and Ron Guerin uh, that uh, occurred uh, earlier today as uh, the uh, hatches were opened between the two spacecraft at 6.38 a.m. Central Time. And uh, right now we're watching the video as uh, the crew members uh, go through a routine safety briefing as the visiting shuttle crew members uh, get a quick uh, update from uh, Dima Kondratyev uh, about uh, where they need to be in the event of an emergency. And uh, the team is also looking ahead to uh, uh, getting to work very quickly with their first task of the docked operations, which was the installation uh, completed earlier of uh, Express Logistics Carrier Number 4 uh, through a uh, detailed handover from the uh, Space Shuttle's robotic arm, which lifted it out of the payload bay and handed it to the Space Station's robotic arm, uh, which in turn was used to uh, place it on the uh, port or left side of the Space Station's truss structure, what will serve as a spare cart parts carrier, uh, and uh, those spare parts are on board the Space Station now and available for use as needed. So, we do, so there's... Uh what about you, you uh, Taz, and Mike? Let's say the experience go on the rest with of the Dima. segment. Okay, that's and, good. And 10 or 15 minutes, whatever, we'll flip around. And I'll okay. take care of the other guys showing go, showing around here. On the that event. sounds good. All right. Well, not more than three, so. Yeah. And well, okay, who should, who should I go with? <laughs> well, no, I'm a shuttle commander. You know the thing. You're not. I'm not. I'm not. Can you go and pee for me? <laughs> you know, we have an extra seat. Okay. Well, we have a spot for one. You can I'll sit on the floor. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. I, I, I told him I'd stay. I'll stay. Can you change with me? Sure. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna. Do, so I'm staying longer. Yeah. So <laughs> Spanky Taz and I'll go with Dima. Yes, yes. Russian segment. <laughs> Rest of you guys stay here, and then we're gonna switch. Yes. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Bye. Let's go.